Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your Tuesday, May 19th, 2020. Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is a reading dated for the 19th of May, it doesn't mean it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates for you, then that is the message for you in that moment. Yes, also keep in mind that, time, that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't, as everything is not going to resonate with everyone. Yes, I hope you guys had a good start to your week yesterday. We are at Tuesday, right? So we're day two in the week. But again, for most of us, it's like, what even is a Tuesday? I mean, do days even exist any longer? <laughs> Funny. Yes, I know. I know. That joke is getting a little bit old. But anyway, <laughs> it is what it is, right? Um, there's one thing, before we get started here, there's one thing that I want to clear up that I want to mention. Um, thank you guys all so very much for your support in um, this next phase in my journey that I'm moving on to. I do want to mention that me moving to Puerto Rico does not mean that I'm not going to, that I'm going to completely stop doing readings and stop working with divine conversations. It's actually the exact opposite. Me, me moving to Puerto Rico um, it, it encompasses a lot of things. There's a lot that I'm stepping into in my, my own sense of authenticity, who I am, what I really truly resonate with versus what like my ego has got me all fired up about blah, 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 and all that stuff. It's really about me stepping into my power, stepping into a lot of my, um, ancestry really and a lot of my past life experience that's all kind of culminating um in a certain area um it's not everything obviously but there's a there's a little pocket of um skill and knowledge that i'm basically stepping into in moving to puerto rico but understand that me moving to puerto rico 100 percent includes doing readings and and be continuing to be a channeler and an energy worker and all that stuff like um uh, so, so when I say that, um, you know, I'm going through this whole transition and things are going to be fairly inconsistent over the next two months, I really, I really think, um, we need to set our sights on things, not really getting any, not really being, um, consistent or too settled until July, because I leave here, I leave New York, I leave Brooklyn in the end of Brook uh, in the end of May, and I get to, 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 to Puerto Rico in June. Um, but me coming from New York, I'm going to have to be on lockdown for two weeks. Um, everybody's got to be on lockdown for two weeks when they're traveling there. But anyway, um, and I'm going to have to work on getting internet and I'm going to have to work on getting my, myself settled. So consistency over the next, like, month and a half at this point is going to be rocky, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to continue, that I'm going to com completely stop readings. There are just going to be moments where I'm not going to be available or I'm not going to be accessible just because of the circumstances, literally just because I'm moving from Brooklyn to Puerto Rico. So, <laughs> so there's a lot that has to happen, a lot that needs to get set up before we are settled and 100% ready to continue going. Um, also, this is kind of perfect energetically because I'm in a phase right now where I'm not taking personal readings. Um, e even though I'm kind of fighting my ego with that, there's a part of me that's like, no, you can do readings you should be working. And it's like the other part of me is like, Eric, you need to take this time to rest and chill because you're going to have a lot to do when you get to Puerto Rico. And it's like, you know what? You're right. So readings are not going to stop completely. Um, they are going to slow down. They're going to be inconsistent. I'm going to be, I'll do them, you know, when I can, when it's feasible, but just keep just keep in mind that this transition is going to take a while. I mean, it was going to take a while anyway, just because of the sheer fact that I have to ship a lot of my big things down there, and that's going to take a few weeks. But then add on add the add the pandemic on top of that, and that's only going to make it take. It's only going to be, it's only going to make it take longer, <clears throat> in theory. Okay, so. I'm not going away completely. Um, I'm, I'm really, I really want to make sure that I say this because I noticed that there were a number of people in the comments that were saying, yay, we're so, we're so happy for you, but like, please don't go away. Please don't stop doing readings. I was like, uh, or you maybe, maybe you haven't said it that way, but you know, that's basically a, a, um, a summary of what I was feeling or, or perceiving. And I wanted to make sure that I was very clear. There are only going to be moments where things are going to be choppy, you know, where I'm, I'm actually in the thick of the transition, but 
I, I, my intention in getting down there is to do a lot while also having a better environment to do readings, okay? Because it's the energy is going to be different. It's I'm way happier down there. It's much lighter. It's very magical down there, but it also it's very spiritual. It's very nature, and I need to be around nature. So that's really only going to help me be better for you guys. So just bear with me through, through this transition. I promise you I am not going to disappear indefinitely. I will keep you updated. I will let you know what's going on when I can, if, 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 you know, if, you know, and all that stuff. So don't worry. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not throwing in the towel just yet. <laughs> Even though I'm sure there are a lot that, a lot of people that would want me to. Oopsies. Sips tea. Anyway, <laughs> let's get into today, today's session, Yales. Let's see what we've got. What do you guys want to talk about today? Let's check it out. Five, five, five on the counter. Boop. <laughs> okay, here we go. <clears throat> Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Tuesday, May 8, no, nope, May 19th, 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, kids, I'm hearing three shuffles, and then we are going to see what do you want to talk about today. Let's see here. Three shuffles, one. Two. And... Three skis. Please excuse the sniffles. I am aware. I do recognize how gross they are a lot of the time, especially if they're really loud and really snotty. But to my defense, um, when I do them, I'm kind of just on autopilot. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> All right. But anyway, here we go. What do you guys want to talk about today? Tuesday, May 19th, 2020. Four collective here. What do you guys want to talk about Tuesday, May 19th, 2020? Okay, we're going to stop there. Ooh, oh, okay. So at the bottom of the deck, you have the Knight of Wands. I feel like maybe it's the discussions that we've been having over the past two weeks, but I get a very strong feeling that you guys are way more confident about moving forward than you have been in the past. And it, I mean, I'm not going to, I'm not going to sit here and like toot my own horn forever and be like, yeah, and, you know, pat myself on the back and be like, yeah, it's all my doing. You know, look at how great I am. I helped. You. Oh, look, there's another card right here. Look at how great I am. I helped you guys do better and I helped you guys get activated, but okay. But like, well, slow roll there, Eric. Like it's not even that serious. Um, it's, it's quite possible that these conversations that we've been having have helped you. But ultimately, I just feel like with this Knight of Wands energy, you are feeling much better about the direction that you're moving in or the choice that you've made than you have been in the past. That's the first thing that I'm picking up on for you. Um, and that's coupled here with the Strength, the Nine of Cups, and the Three of Spring, or I should say Strength, the Nine of Summer, and the Three of Spring, or the Three of Wands. So... Um, there's definitely confidence here. There, at least what you're showing on the outside is confidence. I feel like, you know, there is still a little bit of apprehension. There's still a little, maybe a little bit of fear, a little like looking over your shoulder. Like, look, you see the expression on this woman's face in the strength card. She looks optimistic, but from far away, or if you glance at her really quickly, it could look like she's kind of nervous or she's, you know, kind of looking over her shoulder. I do feel like there are still, there's still a little bit of apprehensive energy, but at this point right now, you're not trying to let that show or, and, or maybe you're not trying to let that stop you. Okay. Because you're well on your way here. And I do feel like with the nine of summer and the three of springs, three of spring the three of spring being being or in other words the three of wands being this path that you're on often the three of spring or the three of wands talks about uh, waiting for a return on an investment me personally 
especially lately, I've been seeing the Three of Wands as an energy of continuing some sort of momentum that you've already generated, especially with in terms of like something that a choice that you've made in like the Two of Spring or the Two of Wands. Um, but I feel like here with this with this energy, what I'm actually seeing for you guys or whomever this is resonating for, I see that you're kind of standing on a path. You 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 see the path stretching out far far ahead of you. And actually, it's very interesting because as you're looking down the path, it gets brighter and brighter as you look down the path, meaning as you walk forward, as you take more and more steps onward or forward, you are actively moving out of a space that is full of darkness and you're moving into a space that's more illuminated whether that space is better or worse than that of the darkness i'm not here to say that or define that for you what i am noticing is a stark contrast from where you have been and where you are actively moving out of to where you are going because what i'm seeing in this image is that you're not necessarily out of the darkness completely just yet but you do see the light at the end of the tunnel basically Okay, and that's giving you an energy of satisfaction or here, nine of cups, satisfaction, feeling content, feeling happy, feeling like the worst is really over, isn't it? Like, I feel like this is a, at this point right now in this part of your journey here, this is like a checkpoint or this is one of the first moments that you've been able to like stop for a second, observe where you are, observe where you have come from and take a breath. Okay, I'm feeling a very strong sigh of relief here because, I mean, because you're not necessarily completely out of the woods yet. You still have some, a little ways to go. You still have a little traveling to go. However, you've traveled sufficiently enough where you can start to see the relief coming. And so that allows you to like take a break and just be like, <sighs> okay, let's keep going. You know what I mean? Cool. You have two more cards here. We have, oh, the Ace of Wands. Oh my God, and the Four of Wands. Wow. You know what's really interesting about this? First of all, this is beautiful. This is such beautiful energy, man. This is fantastic. So first off, right off the bat, this is you having a solid foundation, Four of Wands. Now, obviously, we're not necessarily talking about a home foundation. Um, I mean, like a physical home, because a lot of what we've been talking about here is about leaving. There's someone, some people are going through divorces. Some people are leaving business situations, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so the Four of Wands can talk about a physical home, but that's not the stability or the foundation that I'm picking up on here for you. I feel like just like this Four of Wands or Four of Spring has been translating for some time now the four of wands i'm picking up on is um, a spiritual foundation within yourself uh, a found uh, self-security okay it's like having gone through the period of introspection with the hermit energy and finding enough of your sense of self your inner sense of self to be really stable solid and grounded or at least finding enough of that and then working on fortifying that foundation so that you have strength and belief in yourself right that's what i'm getting from this four of wands four of spring and then with that you have the strength the wherewithal the gumption even to move forward with what you are inspired by right ace of spring or ace of wands here's the funny thing that i'm seeing in this too i'm seeing the ace of spring and the four of spring as a breakdown of the five of spring and that's exactly what we were talking about yesterday because the five yes in yesterday's reading titled um it's really just a difference of opinion or something like that um we were talking about the difference of opinion. We were talking about the fact that's, that, that we have two sides of an equation here. One side of the equation has reached a Ten of Swords um, um, hanged man moment where there is a change in perspective and they're ready to put down the swords. They had in that side of the pile, wow, I remember this quite vividly, They in that side of the pile, um, there was the Nine of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, and the Seven of Pentacles was in between you or someone and another person. All right, so the Seven of Pentacles is in the middle. On one side, we have the Nine of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands, which which is somebody being independent, standing on their own two feet, being a free thinker, and, and having very, very strong boundaries right now, like probably stronger than they normally have would have right now just because of given the circumstances. And then that side was clarified by... Um, the Hanged Man and the Ten of Swords with some various other things. But these are the ones that I remember the most. They're most important or, or relevant to the message right now. 
because the person on this side of that reading, go ahead and watch it, but we'll keep recapping. Um, it's yesterday's reading, but um, the person on this side or the, this side of the equation is standing independently. It's like, you know what? I'm done. I don't want to deal with this anymore. anymore. This person had learned their lesson because the seven of pentacles was in between both sides. On the other side of the equation, we had, um, shoot, Oh, we had the five of wands and that's where I was saying, okay, so obviously this side of the equation is, well, there's a difference of opinion here. And then that side of the equation got a final card of the wheel of fortune in reverse. So it seems that the, per the, the, the element on this side of the equation opposing the other, the opposite, which the opposite may most likely be watching this reading, right? side of the equation is in a difference of opinion energy and is trying to keep with the status quo and doesn't want to change anything and thus they're keeping this karmic cycle spinning or running for themselves while the other side of the equation or the person or people on this side of the equation are like in that nine of pentacles seven of wands state where <clears throat> they've had enough we're not they're not they're not doing this anymore right okay so fine so then what i see in eight and the four of spring here is a breakdown of that five of wands okay uh stability to stand up against the opposition or stand up against the difference of opinion and then the inspiration to move on with something else what i'm seeing with this the breakdown of the ace of basically with this energy broken down into the four and the ace i'm seeing a little bit of nonchalance i'm also seeing all right i'm not even paying attention to that any longer i'm moving on very nine of pentacles like independent self-sufficient free thinker thinks for themselves acts for themselves okay i just i really get this feeling i just really get a strong feeling with the way this is broken down here it's like you're not even trying to entertain any tomfoolery that the other side of the situation has to throw at you like a not even bothered energy maybe you are a little bit bothered maybe you are like maybe the sight of what they're what it is that they're doing or the you know experiencing or perceiving of what it is these individuals are throwing at you or what opposition is coming your way maybe that makes you sick maybe that makes you cringe maybe that makes you angry maybe that maybe that does like fire you up a little bit but you're not you're not giving in to that is what i want to say you're in an energy of either maybe you're cultivating it and and using it to drive you forward in the direction that you want to move in the direction that you're inspired towards moving towards or you're just completely ignoring it and you're just saying you know what i'm not even gonna let that bother me it's none of my business any longer it has nothing to do with me it never had anything to do with me i've learned that now so i'm just gonna keep moving either way somebody here is moving and is activated and i feel like there's and maybe this could just be the fact that um you know you just reached a breaking point or you've experienced enough of the bullshit from the other side of the equation that it's just like you're you, that you that you're feeling so activated because you you it is blatantly obvious to you that <laughs> there is no hope for this situation like abandon ship as soon as possible is kind of how it feels at this point that maybe maybe that's how it feels for you that and maybe that's why you're so activated right now you're so ready to go it's just like maybe and maybe you're not even all that confident about where it is you're going in the future this is all possible but as in terms of the situation you are moving on from right now man it's like you can't get out of there fast enough but that's mainly because you 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 really you really really get it i wonder i wonder if there was a big blowout recently Maybe there was a blowout yesterday in between yesterday's and today's reading, or maybe whatever, it doesn't matter. Timelines, all timelines are, are specific to the individual, okay? And I, I'll, I'll say no two timelines are the same. Um, but it could be, like, this feels like it's the potential is here for maybe there was a big blowout, or maybe there was a final straw, or maybe there was, was, there was a situation where it's like you you've got to be kidding me like at this point there's no I, there's no way for me to defend you any longer or there's no way for me to think that maybe we could work this out like it is blatantly obvious to me now that this is not going to work or at least this is not going to give us what we want what it is we're truly looking for something like that okay that's good that's real good 
Yeah. Let's get into some clarity here. I want to start with strength. Let's start with strength here. All right. Let's get some clarity. I want to look a little deeper into this strength energy here. Um, what can we tell you guys about this feeling of strength? Yeah, there's definitely a gentle but fierce energy about this. If you look, there's a there's a lamb and there's a lion, right? She's like, so it's like, yo, I might seem cute, but don't push me, because I'll rip your face off. <laughs> That may be how you're feeling right now. Strength. One last shuffle, and then we're going to look at what this strength energy is for you guys here. All right. Let's see what we've got. So what is the strength here? What do we need to know about this? <laughs> the Empress. <laughs> the chariot, the page of pentacles, and the eight of cups. Well, shit, guys. Uh, mm, okay, and the eight of pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. Look at this, y'all. I mean, you cannot make this shit up. This, and, and I'm gonna be honest with you. The reason why I'm laughing like this, I'm I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna try and sugarcoat this for you. The reason why I'm laughing at about this is because this this is kind of I mean this is such strong energy between the Empress and the Chariot and okay like the Page of Pentacles yeah okay you're starting on a new you, you've got a new adventure but like between the Chariot the Empress and the Eight of oh shit sorry and the Eight of Cups what what am I doing sorry there. Oh, I get what's happening. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm all backwards. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go. Here we go. All right, cool. So yeah, you have the Page of Pentacles. You're you're starting on a new journey. But the between the the Chariot, the Empress, and the Eight of Cups, this is like almost mocking someone as you're leaving, <laughs> like flaunting, like like flaunting it. And I maybe you're not doing this on purpose, and maybe this is just. This is just how it's coming across because of the situation here. But I really feel like someone here is like strutting their shit like hard. Like you might break your spine. You're strutting your stuff so hard as you walk out that damn door. <laughs> and You know, look, look, first of all, don't get mad at me for laughing because at this point we all need some comic relief. But second of all, like, I'm so sorry to whomever is to whomever is on the receiving end of this energy i'm not trying to mock you i'm not trying to <sighs> but quite frankly this person whomever this is this person has every right to strut their shit like this because they've really they've really overcome some really nasty narcissistic shit with you i mean whether you was intentional or not, whether it was conscious or not, and I'm sure there was a hell of a lot of trauma wrapped up in your response and all that. I mean, I did pick up on that, but this person went through some shit, man. They have every right to be to feel proud of themselves. I'm surprised we don't have the six of wands here. But and, and maybe maybe this isn't okay. So maybe it's not the six of wands energy where someone has their head really really high and maybe they're all hoity toity and like maybe feeling themselves a little too much. But but this energy between the chariot, the empress, and the eight of cups, this energy just feels so. God, I had a word and now it's gone. The energy just feels. This literally feels like a bat out of hell energy. The chariot is very fast moving. The eight of cups is, well, the, okay, the chariot is very fast moving and it's balanced, okay? It's it's you, the individual being balanced within themselves. Their emotions are balanced, their mind and their heart are balanced, and they're all working together to move them in that direction that they're moving in, which helps it to move 
even faster, right? The Empress is an energy of, I'm hearing, I'm very sure of myself. I know who I am. I know what I have to offer the world. I know I'm unconditionally loving. Loving. I know I'm abundant. I know I'm the shit. I know I'm the queen of all queens. I know I'm a, I'm a badass. And then coupled with that moving, that balanced energy of the chariot, I mean, this is lightning speed, you guys. With the Eight of Cups, it's the Eight of Cups almost see the eight of cups almost feels like a slap in the face almost because it's like adding insult to injury not only are you in this energy here with the empress and the chariot like you are goody good good like gucci fendi prada all of that shit like you are so good it's ridiculous like it should be illegal how good you are how vibrant you are how abundant you are how beautiful you are how charismatic you are how you know what i mean like it should be illegal and yet it's not because it's our natural state and the fact that it's our natural state and this person is aware of it is only making this energy move that much faster so it's like okay you have the empress and the chariot we know you're leaving but do you really have to rub it in our faces like that eight of cups <laughs> and i'm and maybe maybe that is a direct narrative maybe there are some people around you that are looking at you um like how dare they like who they think they are blah 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 like do what they think they're better than us and no that's not the point at all and the reason why this person has this glow this unmistakable glow this like oh my god like you are so annoying get out of my face you're so glowy because they did the work guys eight of pentacles so if you've got a bunch of haters out there talking about who do you think you are sit down bitch shut up blah 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 with this that and the third just be like yeah okay don't even worry about it you know why because they're sad and salty because they ain't done the work have they so go on and keep your head held high because you deserve it. You worked your ass off for it. And don't let anyone tell you you did. Don't let anyone try to convince you that you haven't because you know the blood, sweat, and tears you put into this situation. So I don't want to hear any bullshit. I don't want to hear any mess. You did the damn work. Keep your head held high. Okay? Excellent. <laughs> Let's move on. What do we want to talk about next? Actually, I wanted to talk about the Nine of Cups. So let's do that. What is this Nine of Cups here, Spirit? This feels like what you're moving towards, Ten of Wands. Okay. But I recognize... I, I'm, ooh, yeah. I think... Okay. Ooh, okay. Good Lord. All right not anything so what this nine of cups is speaking to right now is why you are able to look back or look at where you are right now and and breathe a sigh of relief find contentment find satisfaction find happiness i mean this very much feels like an energy of someone being able to find happiness in the most minimalistic space or minimalistic surroundings or minimalistic circumstances the minimalism Mm. The minimalist aspect of what it, of where you find yourself right now either has everything to do with this sense of contentment because you are aware of how much you have, how much burden you've released here, okay, Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords, or the minimalist aspect of it. Well, there was two, there were two ways to look at that. I mean, the main thing I'm picking up on here is like either you're looking at everything that you're no longer surrounded by because all of that material stuff just was wrapped up in the previous circumstance and you're happy to be free of it. Like either it's the physical stuff or it's just the fact that you're out of there. And you're basically starting all over, sure, but okay, there it is, there it is. So you're basically starting all over, you're in a very minimalistic situation, and yet you're excited or content or happy because you are now able to rebuild. Because you have released a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Look, you have the Five of Cups, the Knight of Swords, the Three of Cups, and the Three of Swords in reverse with Temperance. They're saying Temperance is upright. Yeah, Temperance is upright. Um, and here's the thing. All right, so you have Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands here, right? Woo -hoo! 
Ooh, yes, with the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Beautiful, guys. You're very level-headed here, okay? Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords. It's a completion of the, the destruction, the backstabbing, the pain, the, the trauma, the betrayal, all that bullshit. It's also the end of burden, um, dissatisfaction, working towards things that you actually never really wanted, but you were doing it because of a certain connection with someone, maybe a specific individual, a romantic partner, a husband, a wife, a family member, some, uh, a friend, best friend, business partner, whatever. Burdens that are no longer yours to carry. I'm feeling like there are a lot of things that you were doing that you were pretending to be into, that you were pretending to show interest in, all because of a significant other, all because in terms of trying to make something work or trying to keep the relationship balanced or trying to keep the relationship reciprocal or blah, blah, blah. And I feel like there's another deep sigh of relief with this 10 of wands. <laughs> this is a very specific one. I don't know whom this is for, but with this 10 of wands, it feels like the fact that you no, no longer have to express interest in this is my very well be the best thing in the world for you right now <laughs> that's fairly specific but take it as it resonates so moving forward though we have the five of cups here but with the knight of swords and with that i feel i'm hearing you're not going to be sad sorry or anything about this any longer because this was a third party situation this was a hive mind situation this was uh, a, a a collective consciousness situation is what i'm hearing here and it was heartbreaking but you know what it's fucking over Three of Wands, I'm sorry, Three of Swords, Three of Cups, both in reverse, with that Knight of Swords. Look, and you have the Five of Cups where those three cups are spilled out, and you're left with the two. But this Knight of Swords energy is like, mm -mm 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 -mm. no, no, we're not going to cry over this any longer. It's over, it's done, let's celebrate instead. King of Swords, seeing clearly. And I kind of get this feeling that you're sitting in this King of Swords energy, seeing things as truly as they are, being diplomatic and all that. And like you're sending out the Knight of Swords energy saying, absolutely not. We will not be crying over this spilled milk any longer. Or at all even. So get to step in. Like get out of here, Five of Cups energy. Because I'm not having it. I'm not having it with the sorrow. I'm not having it with the pain. I'm not having it with the mourning. No. Not doing it. Either you've cried enough or you ain't trying to let any any sort of emotion be spilled on this sorry ass situation. <laughs> oh my god. You guys, I can't oh never mind i just got really confused so uh, we have the ace of spring the three of spring and the four of spring right that was a, those are left over we can look into that a little bit but i was just thinking oh my god i can't count because i thought i took the ace of spring and the three of spring and thought that meant five but it doesn't it only makes four but then i remembered oh wait no i was talking about the ace and the four okay never mind i can count <laughs> oh man all right so while we're here Let's look at this. Ace of spring, three of spring, four of spring. This is your state of mind. This is your, your internal state of being right now. Okay, so I want to look a little deeper into this and see what else I can get for you in terms of that. Yeah? Ten of cups. You've got to be Come on. <laughs> oh, eight of swords. Okay, the lovers in reverse. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Really? That was starting off so good. Eight of Swords, Ten of Cups, the Lovers in Reverse, and the Two of Wands. Oh. And then the Moon. But the Moon came out in Reverse, and it, damn. All right. So this is basically what we were talking about yesterday. The Moon came out in Reverse, but it fell on this pile over here of, like what we were describing about why you're in this nine of cups satisfaction state, okay? At the bottom of the deck, you do have the seven of pentacles. So here's the thing. You were trapped. You were trapped in a situation that looked on the surface like it might've been your 10 of cups. Only come to find out that actually, no, either this isn't the ideal person or this isn't the right person or this just is not going to work. Lovers in reverse. This And what I'm getting with the lovers in reverse is this is no longer an option. At least at this moment. The way it looks right now, currently speaking, in this moment of... 
I guess the 19th of May or whenever you are watching this reading and it resonates for you in this moment, this individual or this connection or this relationship, whether it's romantic friendship or family or business, it doesn't matter. Ultimately, this is not the choice that you want to continue making. This is not the situation you want to keep giving to. This is no longer an option for you. And actually, this could be something that you realized a long time ago, but you were like, but wait a second, this is my divine partner, this is my twin flame, this is my husband, this is my wife, this is my soulmate, this is my business partner We've been, I've been working with for X amount of time, or I made an, a, a contract or an agreement with this person, like, yeah, but check it out, contracts can be nullified. I mean, there are normally... Um, There, normally there are, there's language in there that states if you cross XYZ line, then the contract is nullified, right? Well, even if it's a spiritual contract, it can be nullified. Okay. And you don't have to have some of the extreme circumstances here in the physical world, like you do in the physical world for that to happen. Whatever, I'm not trying to get into that. I'm, I'm feeling like for some of you, you recognize that this relationship, as it currently stands, we'll say for, for at least bare minimum, as it currently stands, the relationship is not going to work. But you felt trapped because maybe you felt like you had a soul contract with this person. Maybe you actually had a contract, like a physical contract with this person or this group or whatever. Um you felt like or you were under the belief system that this was your ten of cups this was going to provide you with your ultimate happiness and yet it didn't it actually may have brought up the the the, the awareness of toxicity for you i'm hearing for some of you okay so that's a twin flame relationship right there all right great um but ultimately you had the choice so but but, but because of all of this you were faced with a choice a choice to break out of prison, free yourself, two of wands. And so all of this is saying here, you have learned enough. There it is, less, learning from the contrast. There's that seven of pentacles again. You learned enough where it's like, okay, well, I see clearly what's going on in front of me. I guess I have a decision to make and I'm going to have to choose myself. I really feel like this is a past energy. This this Eight of Swords, Ten of Cups, Two of Wands, and the Lovers in Reverse with the Seven of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck as an overall energy, which is basically saying that you learned the lesson. Okay, you learned from the contrast. You saw the harvest that you were getting, and you're like, yeah, I don't want this because this is not my Ten of Cups. It's not the Ten of Cups that I thought it was going to be. It's not the Ten of Cups that I wanted. But you see, the beauty of the Seven of Pentacles energy because is that at this point, you can look at what you're receiving in your harvest and say, okay, this is not what I want. What is it that I do want? All right, let's fine tune our, fine -tune our process so that we can get what we want. Yeah? Which means breaking out of jail. Eight of Swords. Two of Wands. Choosing to set yourself free. So that is why... You have this current state of being, Ace of Wands, Three of Wands, Four of Wands. Okay? Beauty mess. So, let's not make this an hour-long reading today. <laughs> let's just close this out here with some Oracle guidance from the Gaia Oracle, yeah? We're going to this two more shuffles. Last one. Okie dokie. There it is right there. Wow. Ooh. Oh, wow. <clears throat> Card number 34. Hidden Path, the marriage of spirit and matter. And you know what? I really feel like this is what is happening here for a lot of you. You've gotten to the point where spirit and matter and physical matter are, are starting to integrate. And as that happens, first of all, your vibration is naturally going to rise. Okay. Um, 
that's just a natural byproduct of spirit and matter coming together. Um, but also, there are certain circumstances, there are relationships, there are environments that just no longer resonate with you. As you're going through this, this process, process of integrating spirit and matter, matter and as you raise your vibration you're going to vibrate out of rel out of um resonance with some other stuff okay that's beautiful all right let's see what this is saying you gonna you gonna you gonna there we go yeah you have traveled far in search of greater meaning and fulfillment, having made much progress and learning valuable lessons. You want to continue your journey, but the road seems to have come to an end. Where do you go from here? The symbolic imagery on this card is set within a magical forest. It seems inviting, yet the way forward is not clear. No physical path exists. However, there is a way forward. Between the trees is a symbol for the eternal life and for eternal life and to the right is the symbol for healing and protection. This card is inviting you to move forward spiritually and offers you healing and protection along the way. Spirit and matter must now merge if true process is to be, I'm sorry, progress is to be made. Your rational mind must align with your heart. When heart and mind are both focused on the same goal, great things are possible. This is true spiritual alchemy. All your work, all you work towards can now be achieved. Your affirmation here is, my heart and mind are in perfect alignment. My heart's desire and my thoughts are one. I am a spiritual being in a physical body. The journey ahead is filled with light. The light of my soul illuminates my path. Let's say it one more time. My heart and mind are in perfect alignment. My heart's desire and my thoughts are one. I am a spiritual being in a physical body. The journey ahead is filled with light. The light of my soul illuminates my path. All right, guys. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading tomorrow morning. Or our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? <laughs> Take care. Bye. Ooh. <laughs>